Hi, welcome to Angie Max Little Mites and welcome to the nursery. I just want to do a, a video on weighing and the materials. Um, right, okay, um, I'm up. I'm hoping I'm going to stay up. I don't know how long it's going to last, but while it's here I'm going to use it. This is Alyssa. I'm going to put her together today. She's a custom baby. I um, don't want to go into too much, but she's, um, let's say, a memory, a memory baby for mummy. Um, she's been a very special little girl to do. Um, and because of my illness, my reborn in, you know, like I said, it's not business. I do it as a hobby. Um, I don't do it to make money. Um, I do it so I can, you know, make other kits and if I can help mummies out that um, have suffered a loss I will do so um, and ask mummy to pay for the kit if possible and the postage and I will do the rest for your charge um, I want to talk about fillings because um, there's a lot of controversy out there and I'm probably going to get slated but um, I, I'm going to do this because this is my channel and um, I'm telling the truth and I've got nearly 11 years experience of reborning. Um, I will never be perfect and I learn every day. People ask me about weighing materials. Well, I've had babies come to me and they've had, I'm not going to say, but there's a famous doll company and I was asked to repair dolls. That's how I started. And when I cut her open, I was horrified at what I found inside. And it was stones, like somebody had literally just brushed it off the driveway. There was dirt. I was horrified that these, these people are paying this money and they're getting filled. And this is a famous, massive company. don't know if they're doing it now, but... And I was really horrified. Um, I've had dolls filled with rice in their bodies, which is fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. Some people might. And say, well, I paid this, you know. At the end of the day, um, there's been this big thing about sand, okay? And I just, I just want to clarify this. Like I said, nearly 11 years experience here. Um, when I first started reborning, I was, I was really nervous. And so I made a reborn. I gave it to somebody I knew. She still has that reborn. And um, that was a test baby. And um, I put things in it you know, and just to see if the baby would be all right, and she's doing well so far. In those 10 years when I was working before I was ill, I sold loads of babies. I had no complaints, nothing. So let me tell you what I do. Because I've told you about putting the baby together, but I haven't told you about what fillings I use. Now, in the head, I put um, granules or um, still shot. Because um, it gives it a really good weight. Now, hold on, I don't want to show my address on here, but the granules I've found on eBay, and they're they're really good. And they're really heavy. They're like a plastic granule, but they are really heavy, guys, and they are perfect to go in the head. And they're not they're not you know you can't feel the scrunch. Um, like on some babies, you you know you pick the limbs up, and you can feel the scrunching. It's just not a nice feel. Um, in the body, I will use this also and some still shot or whatever. Now in the limbs, because the limbs are contained within themselves and they're waterproof and they've been varnished, da, da, da. Don't, don't be shocked when I say this. Don't knock it until you've tried this. I've been doing it on and off for 10 years and my babies have been fine. Now, I live right by the beach, which is handy. Um, when I can get there and um, sand for um, filling the limbs um, I've been told is a no-no through through my learnings and that's quite right I, I, I had a dolly once and I filled it up with sand and it took about five or six years packed it away and it was starting to discolor the actual limb um, so I now know why people don't put sand in it. There's moisture in sand, there's impurities, um, there's all sorts of stuff in there that probably isn't very nice. 
we all know what washes up on the beach. So that was a no-no and I kind of understood it. Then I'd done another test, and that was about four years, which is bringing me up to now, on silver sand. Now silver sand is sand that you would buy for children to play. Um, in the play pit and you know you can get it at the early learning centre it's had it's been bleached it's had all the impurities removed all the nasty stuff so I bought some of that um, obviously that sand even though the impurities have well, everything all the crap's been taken out and if, it's still got moisture so what I did was I bought the silver sand which looks very much like um, the glass sand that we buy which is basically the same thing and I put it in the oven to dry out any moisture. Now that went in the oven for about 20 minutes on, I think it was 150 I put it on. So basically cooked the sand until it was bone dry. And then I put the sand in the limbs. I tried it on dull vinyl and on silicone vinyl. I hate saying silicone vinyl because there's no such thing. Um, your baby's either soft vinyl or their silicone, but we won't go into that. We'll go into that another day. It did not stain the um, limbs at all. There were no, nothing. It was absolutely, perfectly fine. So, in my experience, you can use silver sand. Make sure that when you buy it, when you get it home, and it's quite cheap, it comes in the sack, um, when you get it home, if you're going to use it, you need to bake it for about 10 to 15 minutes, just to take any moisture out. And I want you to remember back years ago when dolls were first made, teddies were first made, you know, they did use sand, um, you know, but you can see staining on some of the dollies from years ago because obviously the impurities hadn't been taken out, it hadn't been bleached, it hadn't been sterilised, and it probably hadn't been dried out enough, so you had these impurities that were affecting the vinyl. Um, so silver sand, I can confidently say, is safe. Um, I don't hide anything from my, um, I'm going to say they're not customers because I don't run a business or make money from this, but I don't want to lie. You know, my babies, I do not claim at any time that my babies are perfect. I don't strive to get them perfect. I strive to get them as realistic as possible. I like to keep the price down for people because some people cannot afford it. I am not cutting corners by using silver sand because I purchase it, I buy it, I spend money and I buy it and then I bake it and then it goes in. So it's not like I'm just going down the beach shoveling a load of sand or something out my driveway and chucking it in. Um, I'm not fooling my customers, well, I hate saying customers, I'm not fooling the people that buy them. There is nothing wrong with that whatsoever but I wouldn't put it in the head because Sometimes I've used used it in my practice babies and it's actually come out of the, the stocking, um, you know, over time. So I, I don't like to put it in, I don't like to put it in the body either because it, it's, it can leak. Mummy's picking the baby up all the time, it, you know, and over time the stuffing moves and it can leak. So I don't do that, I only put it in the limbs. So um, that's a tip for you. This, this is how I manage to keep the price down of my babies. Not because they're cheap and nasty, but because I'm just being honest. This is what I use and it works and it's fine. And I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. But like I said, until you've tried it and dried it out and done everything, you know, don't, don't knock it until you've tried it, guys. It does work. It's fine. So... Um, yeah, it was just to cover that. Um, you know, so, I, like I said, there's a lot of people out there that can't afford it. Um, they can't afford it. I don't do fancy bo box openings. I don't put loads of fancy stuff in. Usually it's just the baby and the bare necessity that I can get away with to keep it down for you guys. And mummy buys the expensive clothing if she wants to, but, you know. But I just want to say that um, I've never had a baby back. I've never had any trouble. And the thing is, I've actually t tried and tested this. You know, there's no way would I put my babies out there if I didn't think it worked. It does work. You know how I test on stuff. I test on silicone. I, I take chances that most people wouldn't do with their reborns because I want to do it to help you guys out there. So um, that was just a little bit on weighing. So today I'm going to try and do a lissa. Her mummy has waited for her for such a long time. 
And I do feel bad about this because because of my illness, a lot of the time, you know, I, I can't finish what I started, but today I'm determined. When she's done and dressed and whatever, I will take some snaps and film her and you can have a look. Okay, keep smiling guys.